Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, this weekend I had the amazing opportunity of being able to meet Chris Evans at Ace Comic Con in Seattle. So that's what I'm here to tell you guys about. My experience meeting the amazing and sweet and beautiful Chris Evans. So, I went to Ace Comic Con this past weekend, June 30th, with my dad, my brother, and my brother's best friend. And we did not get the, the VIP, we just didn't want to spend the extra money on it. Also, Ace Comic Con did something this year different than what they normally did do, like what, what they did last year at least, because they had VIP pre-sales for everyone who had bought VIP in previous years. And I, I didn't spend the $550 or $500, whatever um, it ended up being. Um, because I I didn't have the money at that time. I had just spent a bunch of money on Shawn Mendes stuff because I had just gone to his concert like a few weeks prior to this event. So I just ended up getting the general admission $55 ticket for Sunday. And then the Sunday photo op with Chris Evans with his shield which was an extra $50. So the photo op came out to $250 instead of just a flat $200. Um, originally I was unsure if I wanted to get a photo op with him with his shield just because like it's $50 for like a prop and I, I, I wasn't entirely certain of that. And I was like, I could spend that $50 on like something else. But when I actually went to buy the photo op with him, they only had one photo op left and it was with the shield I was like okay I just, I'm just gonna buy it because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity I'm not gonna probably regret it like I mean I'm meeting Chris Evans an extra $50 is what it is like it's fine I'll probably get that I'll make up that money during Christmas or something um so I bought the last photo op um and they didn't I had emailed um, Ace previously asking him if they were gonna come out with any more and they were like not at this time so I was like okay I'll buy the photo op deal with it later um, and I'm really glad I bought the shield the, the, the photo op with the shield uh, and I'll, I'll explain everything that comes yeah I'll explain all that um, so my photo op was at 11:45. And judging from last year when I met Tom Hiddleston, um, I wanted to get there early, but not like too early. Um, cause last year I got there about, I don't know, I can't remember how I got there at least an hour and a half early, I think. Um, and I waited in line. I got in line about 45 minutes ahead of time. If I, if I remember correctly, we didn't start, we didn't start moving for like an hour. And then when we actually started moving, it took like another, another like 45 minutes to get through the line, like to where I was. I was like towards the middle of line and it took, cause all the VIPs got to go first. Um, yeah, but I, so I was like, oh, I don't want to get there too early cause I don't want to wait for a long time. But at the same time, I don't want to get there too late because then I'll be at the back of the line. So it'll take a million years to get through. Um, I wanted to get there at 11. We didn't end up getting there till about actually 11.30, which was a little nerve wracking because I wasn't sure if they were going to close. I, mean, I knew they wouldn't close the line, but like, I wasn't certain if they were going to say like, hey, you can't redeem your thing past this time. Um, cause I know they have a rule where you have to get there 15 minutes ahead of schedule. Um, but I didn't, I ended, I ended up getting there like five to seven minutes before which just did, actually surprisingly didn't end up end, end up being a big deal because I was one of like the in the first 10 people in my general admission photo op group to meet him which was shocking because there were like 13 different um photo ops released with him like plus like the VIP stuff like the VIP photo ops like I was like Am I in like the right line? Cause last year there were less photo ops for Tom Hiddleston, but I was farther back when I had arrived like an hour early. Um, yeah, and they actually this year was a lot more organized, and um, I got through the line actually rather quickly. Like 
it had been I hadn't been waiting more than 15 minutes before I had actually like gotten in like the curtained area which was really really nice because I don't like standing in line for very long not like I like I don't have a problem with it I just like am impatient <laughs> um, yeah so um, when we all line up um, you know yeah, you're as, as last year you're in like single file lines um, and yeah once they start you know, moving it's just kind of like a slow constant like walk and then walk and walk and then walk um, and then once we had gotten like past the like initial lineup area um, you kind of like went off on the side and kind of curved around and then like there was the like curtained off areas um, so once I had like kind of turned the corner um, you, you could see a, like a door to like outside and I saw Josh Brolin walk through the door and I was like oh my gosh that's Thanos like what the heck and I was honestly a little surprised because he's a lot shorter than I thought he was gonna be I mean granted Thanos is like giant but like you know I would expect I would have had expected him to be at least like six feet you know but he was almost as tall as I am and I'm five foot three so I was like what he's like tiny I mean I'm tiny but like Comparatively, like Tom Hiddleston is six two. Like he was a whole, he's a whole like almost foot taller than me. I was like, he was towering over me. I was like, so I'm like, what? He's Josh Bull is like really small comparatively. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I was getting really excited about meeting Chris Evans because it seemed all surreal because I had just graduated the week before, and so I just my like my mind was focused on that. Um. And then you know, with, with my with my brother's friend coming in from California to come visit us, everything was like crazy with that. And then I had actually like forgotten that I was gonna go to like few days before. And I was like, oh, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm meeting Chris Evans in like three days. And I was like, I'm just meeting him two days. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm meeting him tomorrow. What? Um, yeah. So it was like, I, I had a different. I felt like I was more distracted this year than I was last year. Um, so yeah, I was still, still, kind of, still kind of like, wait, why am I here? Like, oh, I'm meeting Chris Evans. What? This is crazy. Uh, um, so when we got to the curtained area, um, we dropped off our bags and everything. Anything we didn't want in the picture, we drop off and then we pick up on the other side. And I had worn um, a dress that I got from Hot Topic. It, they had it. They, they had it in their like Marvel collection a few, a few years ago. Um, it was the Thor dress. It was. It's like I don't know if you guys have seen it or not um it'll be in my picture with him which I'll include at the very end um so I so that was like I was kind of like cosplaying as like Thor but like it was like low-key haha <laughs> low-key <laughs> that's funny um sorry I'm really cheesy um my brother owned a small plastic Mjolnir um from like I don't know five six years ago um and so I brought that because I, again, just spent $250 to meet Chris Evans. I didn't really have a lot of money at the time. <laughs> um, I brought that because I wanted to have Chris hold it because, I mean, we all know he's worthy. So it just, yeah. <laughs> Spoilers if everyone hasn't seen the movie yet. Like, I mean, if you haven't seen Endgame at this point, where have you been? Like, just say it. <laughs> um so um when I got yeah like got to the curtain because it was I was like shocked at how short the distance was between him and like the curtain because there was you could fit three people like in the curtain and and then there was like this like opening and then that's that's where you went through and like for Tom Hiddleston I assumed that this would be the same that you would have to like kind of like the, the line would be like kind of like going along the side of the curtain inside so like you'd be able to see him before you went up to meet him um but i was in complete shock with what actually happened because so like the person in front of me like went in to the room and so i came up to the edge and i turned around and i was like he's right there like 
I mean, initially I, did, I didn't think oh my gosh that's Chris Evans like I literally thought oh my gosh that's Steve Rogers I'm like wait no I thought I was like wait Steve Rogers isn't real I was like wait oh that, that's Chris Evans I was like because he had the shield and his his muscles I was like dang he is he's a lot more ripped than than I thought he would be like you know because like they do like the computer enhances things like on movies so I, I wasn't like I wasn't expecting him to actually literally be like like that like he's, he's huge he's, he's huge I was just like whoa I I need to get out of here like this is weird almost I'm like that's that's Captain America like what hello and with the shields and everything like it it put it put everything together like in that moment I was like I am so glad I spent that extra fifty dollars to get the shield because it is just amazing. So I walk. So yeah, well I, I wait technically, and then the the photographer's like, "Take the picture." It's like, "Next, please." And I'm like, "Oh my gosh, it's my turn to meet Captain America." What? <laughs> so I kind of just stare for a second. I'm like. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Well, help me. And so, um, I kind of like waddle in, and the lady takes my ticket, and I walk up to him. He's looking at me, and I'm like, Oh my gosh. I was like, Hi. He's like, Hi. I like, Can you hold this and do a fighting pose? <laughs> He's like, Sure. And I'm like, Oh my gosh. And so he, I, like I don't really look at what he, what pose he's doing because like I'm like oh my gosh it's Captain America <laughs> and so he like does whatever pose he's, he do and I'm I decided to well you'll see later when I put my thing in you'll see what I do so we do the pose that I'm doing and the photographer takes a picture and he hands me back and you'll near and he's and, I, and he's like has smiles at me and I'm like thank you he's like you're welcome and I'm like oh my gosh and so I walk out I grab my stuff and then I go run, run around to, to get my picture I'm still like in shock I'm like what just happened like I just met Steve Rogers Captain America like I didn't meet Chris Evans like I met Captain America like that's what happened here like Chris Evans doesn't even exist just just Steve Rogers so yeah, I get my picture, I look at my picture, and I am like, the the pose he is doing is the end game pose. Like when you'll see it, you you know what I'm talking about. Like, and I and the expression I was making was literally like was honestly like my face. Like that was literally my face. It, like it it looked real like this is amazing well you, you'll see you'll see I'm really excited for you guys to see it um so anyways um my brother bought a shirt that Josh Brolin was selling for like 20 bucks and so he got to get an autograph but so he, he saved $180 by buying a shirt um so he had a photo not photo op what I'm trying to say so he had an autograph at four with Josh Brolin um so I was kind of waiting there, um, cause I didn't really know what to do for a few hours. Um, so I decided to watch, so I decided to like walk around for a little while, um, cause Josh Brolin, Zoe Saldana, and um, Lee Pace all had a panel together at three. And it was like 12, 15 when I got out of the photo op with Chris. Um, so I was just kind of wandering around. I was like, I, we have, you know, two and a half hours to kill. Um, so, yeah, so we just walked around, looked at all the different booths and all the different vendors. And some of them were super cool. I was trying to convince my dad to let me get a tattoo because there was, there was a tattoo artist there. And he's like, no. <laughs> um, See, so yeah, I was a little sad about that, to be honest. Um, but I had... An amazing time like looking around all the things all the stuff we actually went back to my car and so I could like drop off my picture um, and like eat lunch there and it's just it's a lot more chill than last year 
probably because I was standing in line for, this, for such a long time. Um, yeah, but so when 3 o'clock rolled around, um, we watched the panel with the, the Guardians, or Guardian and Villains. Yeah. <laughs> it was called, what was it? I forgot what the panel was called. It had like a really cool name, like, like Unleashing the Guardian, no, something. Like Unleashing the Guardians or something? Unleashing something and then something about Guardians. I can't remember. Um, yeah, and that was really cool. I really enjoyed that panel. Um, and then after that, my, like, well, in the middle, my brother went to go line up to meet um, Josh Brolin. And then I stayed with my brother's friend um, to watch the next panel, which was... Taryn Egerton um and that was really cool I really enjoyed his panel um he's just he seems like a really sweet guy too like him and Chris are both they just both seem like really sweet people like oh my gosh yeah um and then after my brother got Josh Brolin's autograph um the four of us left and we went we made the long ah it's a long long ride home it's it takes three hours because i live nearer to oregon than to canada um yeah so it took like a really long time to get to and from seattle but i enjoyed it i was like gushing on the way home because i had so much fun um yeah and that was my experience meeting chris evans he is so sweet oh my gosh yeah, I would totally meet him again like I would spend another $250 to meet him like he's amazing um so yeah look out for my picture it's coming next I don't know which way to camera yeah oh uh, yeah um and I hope you enjoyed my video I will make another one if I meet another celebrity well, thank you guys for all watching I appreciate Appreciate you guys. I will see you next time. Bye!